New Jersey State Board Cosmetology exam, the practical. The written was a little bit tough for me, but got through that. Now I have my practical exam tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. So I'm practicing for that. The most important steps I've been told is the barbering, which is the 14 steps, along with all the other parts of the test you have to do, and also your state board. You get 25 minutes for your state board set, and you get 12 minutes for the barbering steps part of having the proper uniform. I have heard that people have been dismissed from taking the exam if they do not have proper a, a uniform on. You have to have, basically, it's black, it has a leather a top, it's closed in heel, shoe. You have to have black socks. I was told they will check up your pant leg and see if you have black socks on. They want you to have your school shirt, which this is from my school. You must have basically like nursing pants that are surgical pants. Um, no leggings, no tights. You can't have anything that is uh, form-fitting or tight-fitting on your legs. You also must have a smock, the actual TV tray. So this is the size of the space that they will give you. Your bags will have to be underneath. First thing first, your alcohol out and your towel. Sanitize your area, your workspace, very, very thoroughly. Let them see you cleaning your space. I will take my bag one and I have a clean towel. I will start my little setup. I have the alcohol here. I have my witch hazel here. They have to be labeled. You also have to have first aid kit. Set everything on your table there. And your paper towels. So I'm gonna put my first one as garbage. Make sure you remember which one is what so you know that you put your disposable items that you're throwing away in this bag. You have your second bag, which is your soil bag. And put, take that to your little workstation area. Third bag. Blood-borne pathogens is a little bag. This one has a tendency to fall off quite a bit. I don't know why. So I'm going to put two pieces of tape on there and put it down there. Really so on to the next. Now you have your trash. I'm putting your table, put it in the bag. Again, you want to you touch the trash. Anytime you touch any of these bags here, you must sanitize your hands. Okay, so this is step two. This is the barbering. We are going to drape and cape Emily. Emily is a junior size doll head. She's a little bit smaller than the regular mannequins. We have a towel here. We'll wrap around. This also helps the cape to stay on. into her just to keep the towel in place and sometimes I just take the one that I put into the other towel and I put it through the cape through the towel into the side always try to keep your area nice and clean now I'm going to set up bag two which is your barbering steps this is my Towels, shaving cream, metallic powder, scented powder, septic powder. I have my headband. Also, I have my razor with blading guard. 
and I have my cotton ball to clean my razor. This is my little towel that I will use to wipe when I shave. So I will fold it up, I'll put it in there. We're gonna take a towel, and we're gonna do it just like So in order to hold that into place, I'm going to use a clip, like one of these, just to hold it in place for now. Then I'm going to put our head down. And you're going to take your little long towel that you're going to be cleaning your blade with. It's going to go underneath the other towel. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our razor out of its little case. We're gonna take the guard off, just this here, and we're going to clean it with your alcohol. Let them see that you are cleaning it. Okay, we're gonna close it back. We're gonna set it down back on the table. You're gonna put this in your garbage bag because you touch a garbage bag, sanitize your hands with your two fingers, the ball of your two fingers. You're going to soften the bristles. We're gonna put it on. Trash, sanitize. You're gonna take your second towel. This is gonna be a hot towel, take it. to make it sound like you put it under the water. You're gonna test it. Make sure you test it. They see that you're testing it. Then you're gonna take it out. Make sure it's not too hot. Fold it in half. They can put it over the nose. Then you're going to fold it this way. I'm gonna take this and fold it this way. The only thing that's gonna be exposed is the nose. This is to soften the bristles. Then take and wipe everything off. Soil bag, sanitize. Take your shaving cream, again. We're gonna clean our hands off again. Trash, sanitize. You're going to take your razor, open it up, like so, like an L. Pinky goes here, your thumb's gonna go in this little indent, the rest of your three fingers are gonna go here, okay? And this way, this is how you can rotate it. Now, one thing to remember, two, Six, seven, and nine are backhanded. If you could try to remember that, that'd be much easier. Just remember you have to turn your hand a little bit of an awkward way for it to do those motions is the backhand. We're gonna do one and then you have to swipe two times, then clean your blade this way and this way, this way, that way. So hold the skin. You're gonna go one, two, swipe, swipe. Now we're gonna do two. That is the backhand. One, two, always try to remember that two and eight go towards the lip. Swipe, swipe. Now we got three, which is the lip. One, two, swipe, swipe. Now we have four. One, Two. Swipe, swipe. Now we got five. One, two. Swipe, 
swipe. Now we have six. Again, reverse backhand. So we're gonna go one, two. Clean. You can always fold your little towel when it's getting dirty to have cleaner paper. Now we're gonna do seven, which is reverse backhand. One, two. Then we have eight. One, two. Again, we got nine. One, two. We have 10. One, two. We have 11, which is gonna be just going across. One, two. Then we have 12. One, two. 13. One, two. And now 14, which is underneath the lip. One, two. Now you're gonna take your blade, of course, and we are going to always do like this, never do like this to clean it. Close it, put it back on your table, sanitize. Now we're gonna take hot towel number two. And we're going to, it's getting wet under the hot water and then test it. Okay, we're gonna put it here. So, I think, okay, it's going to the sole bag. Now we're going to take our witch hazel. hands. Now you're going to take your last towel and you want to have it folded like so in between your two fingers, these two fingers like so. Okay. You're going to take the towel and bring it towards you in front of the thumb like so. Kind of tight and then you're going to take it again go over the thumb and you're going to grab it a little tight. And right here in this little area, you're going to tuck it under. Take your towel powder, put it on your towel, and pat the client's face. That's it. Barbering is done. We're going to do bag number three. You don't need to drape her, she's already done. Headbands already there from doing the barbering. First thing first, sanitize hands. You have, this is facials, five minutes, one mistake is an F. Tilt the head, demonstrate, pasteurize, which is like pinching a little bit. Now, effarage. Which is the cushion. The next thing that we're gonna do is the now we're gonna do eyebrow removal. Gotta put on your gloves. 
Uh -oh. Don't drop it because you drop it, can't use it. I'm gonna get your tweezer. After I get this glove on, put a little bit of alcohol on a cotton ball. Now you got it. Let them see that you're cleaning it. Throw that into the trash. Now, set it down. Now you have to clean it, the eyebrow, with your um, witch hazel. And you have to spread it, hold the skin. You have to do it on the, uh, you have to be on the opposite side that you're gonna do. So if you're gonna do that side, you have to be on this side and vice versa. Now you clean the eyebrow. Now you have to take your coil cotton, okay, and it has to go around your middle finger, like so. Cotton coil wrapped around your finger. Keep that intact there, like this. And what you're going to do is you're gonna have to hold the skin and you're gonna have to go one, two, three, wipe. Hold your skin, one, two, three, wipe. You're wiping with this part. One, two, three, wipe. Then, of course, this goes to the trash. Your soil, you will take your witch hazel and you will clean the eyebrow with that. Then you will put this in the trash. You will take your gloves off put them in the trash. You do the lip hair removal. Put on your gloves. Put on your gloves. Make sure that you have your stick you get your cold wax. You have to have cold wax. It cannot be anything else. If you have anything else, they will disqualify you. Okay, so. You have to test it on your wrist. Just like so, okay? You have to have a second one of these because this now has been used and contaminated. It has to go into the trash. take one of your strips, put it on your wrist. You're going to go the opposite way. Okay, trash, Prehan. Put on Prehan, which you can get at Sally's or it's in your kit. How can you like see this? Because it's... Okay, so now you're gonna go, of course, on this side. So. You're gonna clean that side of the lip, which is over here, to put it on the lip. A strip, another one is clean, and put it on. You have to right away, when you pull it off, put your, put your finger for pressure, just like that. And you have to hold it for a second, let them see that you're holding it, this goes into the trash. Now, we're going to use, it's called, now we're gonna take all the wax off. Now you only have five minutes to do this particular procedure. Now this is trash. You need to put a little bit of Neosporin. Next part of bag three, we need to sanitize our hands. Take your nylon brush. And you need to comb the hair. You want to inspect the hair. You want to see if they have any bugs, any type of sores or open wounds. Make sure you go through all the hair, just checking it. Okay. 
Now, you have to bring her back, act like you are shampooing her hair, letting it down. And then you want to put the shampoo in. Here. Now you have to do four of the massages. So you bring her back up. Then you will start in the back and they want you to do some of the massages. And then what you can do is Then you can do this, where your hand is in the front and the back. You got one here, one here. This. Okay, so moving on, this is going to be bag number four. So we need to put her in four quads. This is the hair pressing tool that we're going to do. So you got hard pressed and you have soft pressed. And you have two and a half minutes per process, five minutes in total. One mistake is a fail. So test your tool on paper. So now this one we're going to be doing will be the teasing. And this is the right front. You want to take a section of that and put it over because that's going to be your cover. Once you have it all nice and neat, you're gonna come and see if it'll stand on its own. Just a small section. I'm drying. So we're going to do it like this. 